guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am Christina and this is my luxury and lifestyle world. I'm gonna call it world at this point. So um, for everybody who has been commenting on my page, loving the last videos that I've been posting, thank you guys so, 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 so much. I am literally just here to inspire you guys to show you it's not where you come from, but where, wherever you want to end up and all. As I've mentioned, I do run a business and I'll actually have another business page. Um, and all however this is like my little hobby that i do on my spare time um i wanted to come on today like earlier to do a video and all but to be honest i was like oh let me work and all and then tonight i was going to go out and then i decided that you know i don't even want to get but i'll be getting ready and also i decided to just come on and do some videos um if you have watched my other video you probably realize that i'm a realist which means that I'm not a person who is like, perfect every single day. And a lot of times when you try to be perfect, like make sure your hair curled, make sure your face beat, make sure this, that, and the other, you end up not doing the videos. So this is literally me. Some days it's going to be high and low, honey. It's going to be high and low. Some days will be beat to the gods. And then other days I'm literally going to come out like this. But girls still look fabulous. Fabulous. Okay? Anywho, let's jump into it. So... I have a baby on the way to me. I cannot wait to see her. She will be my new, my newest news addition to my entire family, but um, a super new, super new addition to my Birkin family. It's actually coming from Harry. So I'm very excited. Um, as you know, I do live in Miami and stuff, my beautiful flowers. Um, however, I wanted to basically come on and, you know, basically just talk with you guys. Um, I'm gonna do various videos. First of all, you see everybody who have ever scored a Birkin bag or a Kelly or any of those, you know, quota bags, big up yourself for coming on here with your face and actually talking or sharing how you scored, not only to basically just have people just bask in the happiness of you scoring, but actually also helping people. I have realized that the people who are the meanest when it comes down to Birkin bags or these quota bags are the people who have tried numerous times to get it and it has not worked. I, um, the bag that I'm getting, I was like, um, my friend was literally rushing, he had to get to the airport and all. So, you know, I'm like, listen, let's grab it and go, let's grab it and go. So I didn't really see, I don't really know the exact color color it is and stuff and when i asked him to like read the receipt to me and stuff like literally he didn't even know what the hell he was reading say so i know it's just a swift letter of course you gotta be a 25 i'm into 25s now guys um but yeah so i decided to like um double check the 2022 colors in that shade because i don't want to give you guys anything else apart from that it's a 25 um and i wanted us to actually unbox it together he sh i should be getting it on sunday today's friday Super excited. They already know me can't sleep tonight. Anyways, guys. Um, so as I was looking for the color, I started seeing like some videos and stuff where there's this this lady, and I'm, it's not it's nothing mad, but I just want to definitely let people know that yo, when you're coming on here and doing videos and stuff like that, telling people how to score and stuff, I truly appreciate that. I'm not even gonna front. Anywho, so she was basically saying that, oh, you know she's debunking tips on how to score a Birkin because you know people aren't scoring with that using it and all of that stuff and I'm like first of all we need to be thankful that people are taking the time out of their day to actually come on here and tell us something there's nothing in this world that is guaranteed apart from debt that's the only thing in this world that is guaranteed like there's tricks and tips and for every single thing and all and for me, I have scored seven, seven of them. Well, it's really eight, but I had brought one back when I was in Paris. It was really eight. So yeah, let's, yeah, I scored eight and I kept seven. So yeah, I'm not lying, I scored eight. So I scored eight of them, guys, and probably three to four of them I did different techniques, but my techniques have always worked always worked and i've never gotten a successful appointment i've never gotten an appointment while i was in paris ever so um there is this other girl also where she also hasn't scored she wants one um she makes a lot of video talking about them and stuff and um 
I remember one time she said, did a video and at the time, you know, I didn't have my channel and stuff because again, I'm just a businesswoman and stuff, you know, I'm not, I'm not an influencer. No, that stuff is, is just not me. I'm just coming on and keeping it real with you guys. If you're interested in this. Um, and I remember messaging her in the comments. I'm like, guy, I'm like, well, what you kind of saying? It's not really true because I was just there and I scored. She's like, it changed. You know, it changed. I have so girl, you get one first. And then you're going to be able to comment. And it's not that I'm being rude or anything like that. But what happened is that you confuse people who probably have never scored. Guys, let me tell you. And I can literally pull my, all of my Hermes receipts. I have never had to do a one-to-one -one spending in order to get a bag. My crop came directly from the store and when I bought my crock, I 100% did not drop that bread in order to get it. What I will say when it comes down to her mess, relationships is important. I think there are different kinds of her mess clients or people who are looking to get a bag. If you're just looking to just get a Birkin alone, You might, have, you might have to buy it off of the second-hand market or buy it off of someone. They don't like selling to people like that. Not saying that it's a problem or anything like that. But for them, they're not going to see you back. So this bag would normally be like a thank you for, for, for your support. Thank you for being a loyal customer. That's kind of how they have the bag in America. I'm going to talk about Paris different. In America, that's how they have it. So for me and stuff like when I got my first bag, which was the 35, um, 35 um, Togo um, leather in the Epsom color, I didn't drop that bread combined. I was buying Oran sandals because I didn't really know much about the brand at the time. But no, I know so much about the brand. I'm a loyal customer of the brand, not only because of the Birkins, but because anything that I buy from Hermes, it holds its value or it's valued even more. Not only the Birkin, like whatever I buy, it holds its value. The quality is crazy amazing compared to the new ones and all. So I actually love the brand. Um... Then, of course, you have some people who don't want to go through the process. They don't want to sit down and basically come up with strategies. And, you know, people like that, again, if you go to Paris, you know, probably find one of the vintage shops and stuff. Excuse me, and get it there. For people who really, you know, want to get into it, into the brand, because I look on the brand as the inv uh, investment brand um, and all, you know, if you have said 10 things that you wanted to buy and you're going to travel to Paris, don't buy any of them here in America and then basically go to Paris, go to the store, appointment, yes or no, and literally ask them, like, you know, for the other pieces that you want. Um, stay away from the Fabu store. Listen, I'm Jamaican, I'm not French. They mess up them name here as long as we can spell them. So, people, because the Fabu store is the mothership or the flagship, a lot of people they go, that is the one that they want to go without an appointment. Unless you're skilled, don't do it. Don't do it. And I'll tell you how I end up scoring there without an appointment. And I actually scored a special order there. Unless you're skilled, don't do it. Don't even bother going to that one. Go to the smaller stores. And again, I might have to break down each of these stores by in different videos. Um, so as I said, okay, you go to the store, go to oh George 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 B. <laughs> you definitely need either a French person to go in with you. I'm talking for if you don't have an appointment because I can't talk about when you have an appointment because I've never gotten an appointment um, and I've always walked out with a bag. Um, so go with somebody who is French. Go with somebody who is French. If you have the funds, if you have the funds, Miss Oda, call me video call. Oh, are you gonna text first? Anywho. 
if you have the funds, guys, stay at a creme de la creme hotel. Stay at a creme de la creme hotel and stuff like that. And definitely, you know, I don't think it's a money that buy the bag. But I will say that, you know, if you if you seem like you know, you know some things. You know, you just know some things. You just experience some things and uh, I think you have like a better chance. Again, it's kind of like I have to be like. But that is what I will say because a lot of times and stuff, well, me, they send the stuff to the hotel and all of that. So send it. Well, I don't know. Wait, wait, let me come back. They will send like whatever you buy. You don't want to bag and pan with it. They will send it off to your hotel and all of that. Um, the next thing that I will say, okay, so you don't have an appointment and all of that. You have a list. You say you want some, um, you want, oh my God, guys, you have, you're definitely going to need to put ready to wear on it. Most people don't really buy Hermes ready to wear. And it doesn't mean that you need to go take about $20,000. You can be like some polo shirt for like 400 and something dollars. You know, you might actually like something over there. Um, you know, take up a few things and stuff. Um, take up maybe like a hat, like whatever you did actually want. You don't buy something we don't like. These are the stuff that was on my list that I actually wanted. So, you know, take up some of the stuff them, you know, where you have on your list and all, right? And, you know, when you take it up and all of that, you know, then you basically, not even, don't, don't just even just be just shopping and no, like talk to the person like, oh, you know, where are you from? A lot of these people who are working in these stores, they're not from Paris. They're not French um, and stuff. They move away from their family and stuff like that. You know, build rapport and stuff like that. Use honey, catch bees. It's, how, it's all about how you make people feel. I truly believe in that. I don't know if because I'm a businesswoman or what. But it's literally how you make people feel. You know, build rapport and stuff like that. Show excitement and all. I literally go and pay. The, when I'm doing my, me scoring my, um, the Black Birkin in Paris, I'm actually going to show you the video of how literally, I almost teared up. Almost. And the essay is like, you know, that's what makes his, you know, him love his job and stuff. You know, he loves seeing, you know, people like this. And he, you know, this is the people who his, the brand likes. So, you know, be look genuinely interested and stuff like that. Like, to be honest, it's like if they sell a million and one things in there and the first thing we ask, the first and the only thing you ask for is just a Birkin and stuff like that. The people are going to feel used. They're literally going to feel used. So I am not going to say, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak from experience because again, I'm on to eight. I eight made up on our seven. Seven. Well, eight my score total, but I have seven, I have six in my position when I'm a baby, almost here. And um, again, it's literally, I don't believe in the one-to-one -one spending. I really don't believe in that because I've never done it. I've never had to do it. I don't own even one Hermes bracelet. I have Van Cleef, I have Cartier, and I have a Rolex watch, and I have some Tiffany diamond earrings. I'm not really... Uh, big jewelry person oh i'm gonna leave my ring then um so i don't own one bracelet from them i don't own only own one bag charm <laughs> so i don't believe in it or anything like that um the next thing is they'll be like oh you know you can basically buy a china or something like that to basically get it and all i will say i do have the three full sets of china collection i have the balcon i have the passifolia and i do have the um is it monziac or something like that listen i'm not french now so yeah i'm actually going to do a video showing you guys my collection because i so so love them um however i never have to buy them in order to get a bag i just really liked it I think you guys should actually go on the website. If you're somebody who's really trying to get into the brand and stuff, I think 100% you should go on the website and stuff and really like go through the stuff them that they basically have. Like I have journals from them. I have, of course, blankets. I don't have any of the age pillows. It's just not my thing. Um, I have the, the um, equestrian storage boxes where I basically put towels in them and put them by the poolside. And I have one on my elevator door for shoes. You know, there's so many things that they basically have that you can truly fall in love with. And a lot of the pieces, they're really inexpensive compared to a lot of other brands. And at the same time and all, basically, you're not going to, it's only going to go up in value. 
Um, the next thing is what I will say and all is that, you know, a lot of times, you know, like the trendy stuff like the Balenciagas and all of that stuff come out and all and you basically run go basically by that. If that is the case, guys, that going literally like depreciate like nobody's business. It makes sense to basically just put it, you know, on something probably at Hermes that you do like and stuff. You can just pop up only when you just want a bag, especially in America. I do, based on the videos that I've watched, I've seen where people actually do want to um you know do get an appointment and they go in and they just ask for the Birkin alone and that's basically it and that is fine if you're able to score that way and that's the reason why i say you know you're basically going to have to like be straight up with yourself and stuff is this something that you're going to want to continuously collect is it that you just want a bag for the trend or is it that you don't even have the time to jump through no hurdle like for me i 100 percent will be going to paris every year and it's not only you know, to produce the Birkins and stuff like that, but all of the stuff, not all, because I, I have to basically, you know, maintain Miami also. So I have a list of all the stuff that I want from them and all, and then I basically just would just split it. It doesn't have to be even be split evenly and all, but I do know that at least I'm sure of it because I have a relationship with the one in Miami for like over six years and the one with Paris now this summer is going to be a one year relationship and I have scored four with Paris but again I brought one back and then I just got my other one um today however I haven't seen however I haven't seen her in person yet at this point it's almost like you know a surrogate carried her <laughs> so um, I think I would probably have to do like um, a video and stuff like on each of the Hermes um, stores in Paris and again it's like Paris is always a good idea guys like literally just get a flat bed on the plane you know take some melatonin and drink a lot of champagne by the time you knock out and wake up you already land and guess what the shopping in Paris is amazing the shopping literally when I'm in Paris I lose weight as soon as I my eye open, I'm literally just grabbing my stuff out, like showing, dragging on clothes, and I'm hitting the road. Every single store that I shop at, I make relationship with those people. Every single store. I'm literally leaving with their number. And you know, thanks not Thanksgiving else over Thanksgiving, like Christmas, New Year, stuff like that, and all of that. You definitely reach out to them because at the ending of the day, it's like your network is your net worth but the thing is is that your ass don't live in paris they do and they're in that industry so if you're somebody who is open to traveling every year or every other year and stuff like that connections are extremely important or relationship extremely important i will actually even do like um a, for dior I remember one day my essay there and I have essays guys I literally I'm so loyal like one thing Miami Hermes taught me loyalty in in the fashion industry not personal life fashion industry you see if you have someone who keeps remembering you and stuff like that you're good you are 100% good I remember these people name and stuff like that when I go in and stuff like that I say oh you're back yeah you know I can't surprise you even just to go and say hi even just to go and say hi because when the time comes around where you can then be get offered another bag and stuff like that you know you're 100% good they know you're not a reseller at that time you know they know 100% that you know you love the brand they know 100% that you have a relationship with the brand and stuff like that so it's going to be 100% easier but again as I said I'm kind of like mixing it where I'm giving you from when I didn't have a relationship versus you know be me basically saying that okay you know I I've shopped at these stores before now like when I go and stuff they'll pull up my name and realize all right cool yeah she um has shopped so me listening to a lot of these things and all I'm like ah 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 uh, I don't know I don't know so again guys if you want one of the bags and stuff there are you you one hundred percent can get it if you want it but you basically have to go and choose a route a route. You know, some people go to Paris, they just want a bag and every single day they apply for the appointment system and stuff like that. They don't get it. Some people even have a relationship with the brand. Oh my God. Yeah, don't, because I don't want nobody coming for me. Because best believe me, I'm going to come back. Um, but I remember, you know, some people actually don't get the bag even though they have a relationship with Hermes here. Some of them people walking with a Birkin and they don't get the bag. 
to me it comes back to how you make people feel i know people personally who didn't get the bag but i'm like well you're not the nicest person in real life so i couldn't even imagine remember there's a lot of french people they don't really like americans because they think i can't say we because i'm jamaican but they think we're spoiled and stuff like that they think like all kind of stuff you know so for them and all they basically they're not especially when you don't even try to be like a bonsoir you know um bonjour and this my accent is wrong but best believe that i'll try you know a little bit you know like it's a little bit um and i think having a french person with you helps i think having a french person there with you helps greatly so listen go find a pen pal go and find a pen pal not saying i'm and I'm, I'm again as i said it's like it's not just the things that i have done um, i'm basically pulling things that i've seen people do and all the next thing that i'll probably say i don't know what step i'm at right now the next thing what i'll probably also say guys um even though i do that like i literally will go on um youtube or come on youtube and google not google um search like oh you know um i scored a birkin in paris and then i will go to the one that is the latest upload and then i will listen to how she scored the bag or let's or see what kind of bag she was offered and stuff and basically gauge it from there um another thing is dressing right another thing is dressing so for me the last time when i went and all and it was my first time scoring in the Fabu store. Um, I think by the time I landed in Paris, it was around 10 something AM and stuff. And the method that I had used to score the last time, that was completely wiped out. So I'm like, okay, I am not giving up. I'm a businesswoman and it's already done. I was, came off the plane and stuff and I had on like a Montclair, you know, sweater, like bubble jacket thing, like boots. I went, I was sweating. I was sweating. And I went like in the ending of October last year. I was sweating. I went twice. Went in summer and that time. And when I basically went outside, I'm like, oh my God, this is just normal weather. And my, I don't like the cold at all. I'm Jamaican. However, I went back to the hotel and stuff and I basically just changed off in literally this top. It's so crazy. I literally had on this top um jeans and like the louis vuitton loafers um because i got to paris like on a different time you know um the people who i was supposed to meet up with and stuff like that you know they were already on the other side of town so i said you know guys don't worry about it i'm just gonna go to hermes um i was gonna go to hermes to literally just sit and observe <laughs> that's literally what i was going to go there for so me walking in in this i knew that they wouldn't even offer me a glass of water French people don't like logo. They do not like logos. They don't like it. They hate it. Not even don't like, they hate it. If you're trying to get anything, all right, let's go to Hermes. If you're trying to get a Birkin and you don't have an appointment, never, are you going to literally go beg the box? Because I beg, we are begging, you know? You're never going with this. I didn't even look. And I literally sat down and stuff and then when I look, it's the lady who sold me my, um, some of my chinas and my um, utensil when I was there in summer and she remembered me. I'm like, yes. I'm like, hi, how are you? She's like, oh, I'm doing good, da, da, da. but I had some more china, um, not china per se, but I need a utensil because I have the gold and some of the one. I can't wait to show you guys. But yeah um and then we're there and so they so oh you know do you have any more and all and she's like yeah you know so then i told her like you know what if she works tomorrow she says yes because remember i know and she really come for her now come for observe and see what's happening and i said okay you know i'll come back tomorrow and all following day i went back and i did the same thing i sat watch who is getting a bag watch who is not giving out a bag make sure a hundred percent we're all black in Paris, guys, not this is a Miami thing. In Paris, 100%, we're all black. Look the most French you can look, but don't put on no hat. Don't, don't do the hat thing. That is the most touristy thing you can possibly do. We're all black. I'm actually gonna show a picture of what I wore. And I remember I stayed at the Four Seasons at George V. I'm gonna call it V because I don't speak French. 
Because I know something going to be like George Sank or something, George V. That's what me want to call it. Um, and I remember as soon as the doorman opened the door and I stepped out, a guy said to me, very elegante, and I knew I was getting a bag. When a French person tell you that, yeah, you get your, your, your pass. You pass the test. And literally what I wore was a black, fit and flare body can kind of looking like up top tight down bottom flare off good length and i wore black leggings and then i wore black um louboutin um boots but it wasn't too tall it was like a very just normal black heel came in price you walk so much and um and then I just used my croc yes and I, I just wore my croc um my makeup when I'm in Paris the only thing I do is put on foundation with a little bit of blush, a little bit of chestnut um, lip pencil, which is a brown color, and just a little bit of nude lip gloss in the middle, um, mascara, fill in my brow, and that is it. Them not like the fussiness. They, this just not them. They don't like the fussiness. You see, sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm on social media and I see some people in Paris and it's basically like extremely trendy. I'm like, if, if you're trying to score, no, they don't like the fussiness. And I don't, I've never watched a video where they basically keep it 100% real with you like that. They'll be like, oh, you know, dress this way, just, they don't like the fussiness. And I'm telling you, it's very, and it's good because you can literally be yourself and all, you know, you can literally just be, just be cool. Like, literally just be cool and stuff like that. So, so yeah, I know this video literally long. But, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to have to split the, the stores. Because as I said, you know, I have like three different experiences with each store. Because now I've scored, um, yeah, twice at Severus, if that's how they pronounce it. One at Fabu and one at George V. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, if you have any more que if you have any question on this side, uh, this topic is going to be so dragged out. I'm probably going to do 50 videos on this one topic because there's so many different branch of it. So, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Um, I'm actually getting ready to go soon. Well, not really too soon. Probably like next month. I'm very spontaneous. The last time I booked my flight tonight and I flew the following morning. Well, the following evening because it's a late flight coming from Miami. Um, so yeah, 100% I'm going to be going. Um, I actually want to test these, um, the Hermes in the south of France and all. I've heard like a lot of stuff about that story in the back back. Because I think there's like, there's two different worlds. And uh, there's multiple different Hermes world. Um, but yeah, I think I need to do a video on the catiness in the Hermes world for the Hermes collectors. I really think I need to do that because I literally started learning that like last year but yeah because you know I saw that girl Erica you know did a joke about it saying that oh you know somebody basically said they scored and all of that stuff and how they're basically just being caddy on the phone and it's like a real life thing but anywho guys I'll catch you guys in the other video um I think no I'm basically just gonna do the other videos are gonna be like how I scored and so forth so I'll see y'all guys. Bye.